Federation. I'm the Director of Governmental and Policy Affairs. Today we're lucky enough to have Senator Geis, the Chair of the Senate Ag Committee with us. Senator Geis, welcome and thank you for agreeing to do this. That's great. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Is there any single piece of legislation that you can think of that would have a, a, a large impact on the members that I work for? Probably there, there's some that I, I can't name the bill, but yeah, there'll be some more than others, but almost all bills that pass down here have an impact on all people in some form. Or well, a couple of bills that you've been working on, um, such as Senate File 100 dealing with pet animal funding and Senate, Senate File 111 dealing with compensation for livestock producers have had animals impacted uh, with a disease transmitted from wildlife. Senate File 100 has passed out of appropriations and has gone through the second reading. How do you feel about the success of getting that bill through the Senate? Oh, I think that bill will go on through the Senate should go through the house okay that's that's we put the authority to the local county commissioners the local law enforcement and if somebody sees what they think is cruelty out there why well, they'll have to go out and investigate it and if there is a problem and it needs to be cleaned up why well, we have money in the livestock board that'll help pay for some of the cleanup okay under uh, Senate File 111, which deals with the game animal damages, that ran into some problems in committee. Is what do you think would be a good future direction for that bill? We'll probably do an interim study this summer on it, but we won't handle very many bills this summer on account of the budget session. It's such a short time, it's just tough to get the bills through both houses. You've been in the Senate for a few years. How has the Senate makeup changed over since when you first came in to today? A lot because the senators are here today don't understand agriculture operations and it's much tougher for Farm Bureau to lobby their ideas. If you don't understand what it's all about, it's tough to get people to understand in a short time. Um, the same thing as transportation. They took me off of transportation this year, and the group that's on transportation, they've been, I've never been out there and worked on roads or know anything about what it takes to keep our highway systems going. Well, Senator, thank you again very much for taking the time to meet with us today, and I know we'll be working together on future bills. We'll have ag unity. Yes, sir.